The Onefinity's default configuration places the Y motors in the back and the cables in the front. Some users may want to flip this, so in this video we're going to show you just how to do that. The first thing we'll need to do is properly shut down our machine. To shut down our machine, we will click the flyout menu and click the shut down button on our controller and confirm that. Once the screen has shut off, we can now flip the power switch on our controller. Remove our screen just to ensure that we don't break it while moving around. The next thing we're going to do is remove the four bolts on either side of the X axis so we can lift our axis off and flip our rails. Our next step in flipping our Y rails is to remove our X and our Z cables from our axis. Once we have that done, we can place the axis on its back side, making sure that we don't crush the curly cable in the process. Our next step in flipping our Y rails is to remove both of our Y cables from our machine. If you have your machine secured to your wasteboard with bolts, you'll need to remove those bolts from the feet. For demonstration purposes, we haven't placed any bolts in the feet of our machine, so we're now going to flip the rail. It will not matter which rail is placed on which side. Please note that when this Y rail is flipped, there will not be a place to mount the screen. Please visit our forum to see what other users are doing to mount their screens. Now that we have our rails flipped, we can place our X axis back on the machine, making sure that it is evenly spaced. Once we have our X rail back on top of our Y rails, we can bolt it down. At this point, you'll need to refer to the Onefinity assembly video. For the purposes of this video, we will not be showing you how to square the machine. Our next step is to re-plug in all of our X, Y, and Z cables. Now that our cables are plugged back in, our next step is to turn the controller and the screen on, and I'll show you how to reverse the motors. I'll be holding the screen since we don't have a place to mount our screen any longer. Once our screen is turned on, it will ask if we want to home the machine, and we're going to hit cancel. Then we'll click the flyout menu, go to motor one and two. Once we've selected motor one configuration, we'll scroll down where it says reverse and click on that checkbox. And now that is done, we will click save there. Once we have clicked reverse and motor two, we can go back to control and everything should be flipped and work correctly. Now that we have the motors reversed on the controller, we're gonna use our joypad to jog around the machine just to make sure everything is working correctly. Everything's working as it should and we're good to go. Thanks for watching the Onefinity video on flipping your Y-axis rails. As always, if you need any support help, check out our forum, forum.onefinitycnz.com.